Joining us now via Zoom from Kano to discuss this is public health consultant, Dr. Usman Bashir. Good morning, Dr. Bashir, and welcome to TVC Breakfast. Let's start off first uh, with what you make of this um, outbreak of monkeypox in Nigeria. How much of um, you know, concern should we be having uh, to di this disease? Um, good morning. Thank you for having me. And like you've said, um, monkeypox is, an, is a reimagined disease because it has been with us for a while now. But the numbers, if you look at the numbers from 2017 mm. to early this year, and then the number from the beginning of this year to up to now, you can see, I think about 267 cases were confirmed between 2017 to 2021. But now, from January to date, we have almost 157 cases um, with mortality of about four people, as you mentioned, and uh, that is a case of mortality of about 2.5 percent, which is uh, which is what is usually seen between three to six percent mortality. So case fatality. This is something we should be worried about because the mode of transmission. We know it's droplets, contacts from person to person, or eating of uh, infected animal, or uh, contact with an infected animal, or human to human contact, even though we know human to human contact is usually a very close contact. And even the air, the respiratory droplets also has to be uh, close and without the use of a, a usual face mask. And then also, even though it's mother to child transmission, and also, um, we are still uh, battling to know whether it is being sexually transmitted due to exposure to, we you know it's usually passed in mucous membrane, especially if the mucous membrane is broken. So it's something we should be worried about, something we need to take action. And the Bilocho and other, like Nigeria and CBC, have uh, brought out the, the, the guidelines we need to invigorate our social mobilization and uh, passing the adequate information to avoid panic so that the public will know the right thing to do. And also, when they have suspected cases, they should report. All right, Dr. Bashir, uh, we, we have heard of uh, chicken pox, small pox. Uh, in relative terms or in comparative terms, it seems the monkey pox. Uh, is the later one that comes on board when it comes to the knowledge of it. But how different from chicken pox and monkey or, or smallpox is, is the monkey pox? Yes, they are from the same family. And uh, they have, the only thing is the different uh, clinical feature, the way they manifest. And then there are modes of transmission. As you can see, in this case, is uh, respiratory, infection and then even the symptoms you can see it starts with fever and the fever proceeds with headache body pains two or three days later the the, the posture starts the rashes start showing in the face and then the difference is that it affects lymph nodes in this case the swelling usually comes around what you call lymph nodes that is the uh, part of the body that fights uh, infections or some parts of the body that uh, helps in producing the what antibodies for the body to fight infection. And uh, remarkably, we are seeing even that the is a drug that is working, take over mat, and then also small fox vaccine. So this is like a reimagined disease. And we can say this because maybe, you know, small fox has been eradicated, and then we now have low level immune status because people are no longer being vaccinated with small fox vaccine. And then with this, the herd, what we call the herd immunity has weighed down. So, and then this image, and then with our human activity, meaning that we now clear bush, we disrupt the uh, the environment, and we are encroaching on those uh, habitat of those animals that are harboring this disease, and this is which can now jump. That's what we call zoonosis. It is not a disease. So, human activity, uh, weighing immunity. Um, for the small, because like I said, they are all from the family of uh, auto pox. I don't want to start disturbing with big grammar. They are from the same family: smallpox, cowpox, 
and now monkeypox. We are speaking with public health consultant Dr. Usman Bashir, who joined us from Kano State, and he's been in the last couple of minutes talking about, you know, combating monkeypox in Nigeria. Yeah, uh, doctor, um, I want to know how uh, aware is the Nigerian uh, uh, medical community and uh, how ready or coordinated are they against uh, this disease? Um, thank you for asking this question. Like I said, um, uh, the CDC is up and doing, and then just the section is ongoing, and even in Kano, Already, we have uh, like we have currently five cases, confirmed cases, and they are being managed across in three LGS, one in Elbos two, Smile, and three from Nasara, and they are all recovering. There's no mortality, but uh, at the state level, the technical working group have been formed. All the what we call the DSNO, the LGA DSNO, who are, who are doing uh, active case finding and investigation, are reporting as appropriately. So, and then risk communication, uh, that's what we call uh, risk communication and uh, moderation is being done. To inform the public on how to contact the disease, what to do, and uh, to avoid panic. That is which is very important in prevention, that is public health education. And also the healthcare providers too are being informed on how to do what we call IPC, infection prevention and control, whereby they protect themselves from having the disease and also they protect because we know healthcare workers are high risk group because coming to contact with so many patients and then there's need for us to know so that it will halt the spread of the disease among healthcare workers and the general population. So this is very key in prevention. That is why even this program we're doing, it's a way of an enlightenment to the public. And uh, ways of prevention of this is we avoid contacts with animals that could have the virus, including animals that are sick or have been found to be dead in areas where this disease occurs. So now we need to be very careful with bushmeat. In areas that bushmeat is eaten, we need to be very careful. And then even if it's going to be eaten, any bushmeat should be thoroughly cooked, not half cooked or half done. It's going to be thoroughly cooked, but anywhere you find dead animals, please do not eat. Don't think because you've seen a dead animal on the road or oh, it's a bush meat. So please might be harboring that disease. And then we should also avoid contact with materials such as bedding that has been in contact with sick animal or human. And then we should practice good hand hygiene. I mean, we should wash our hands whenever we, we, we interact with either an infected animals or any other human or an infected person. And then we should avoid contact with animals that have the virus inclusion. Like I said, and then we shall avoid contact that has been, and also we should isolate infected uh, humans or animals from other animals or from other humans. And then quarantine is very essential. And then, like I said, regular hand washing and caring for the sick patient. And also we should use our face masks, especially for the patient that has the disease and also the general public in suspected areas. And then, like I said, they are most, mostly now. The treatment uh, is the use of a drug called tecobarimat, which is not readily available now. Right. And it's not widely available and a bit expensive. So, but smallpox vaccine too has shown some uh, remarkable results. So, but the main treatment is treatment underlying infections, nutritional support, psychological and social support for the patients. And uh, that's all. All right, Dr. Usman Bashir, uh, public health consultant, joining us from Kano State. We thank you very much for your contributions on TVC Breakfast. Thank you for having me.